creating code to write to the files is going to be a little bit more complicated. And that's because the dict writer needs to know the field names that you're going to use for the columns. Because the data that we're passing in, the dictionaries, um, could have various field names, it wants us to explicitly say which ones to use. So if I'm not going to use all of the field names in all of the dictionaries, then I need to um, provide the ones that I want to use here. So I'm, in this case, I have to pass into this function that I've created the field names. Then it goes through, first it writes the header using the field names that I put in. Then it steps through each of the dictionaries in the list of dictionaries and writes a row for that. So if I run that, I now should have created a file called mini cartoon table. Let's see if it's here. Here it is. And it contains this information here. The other option that I have is to get the column headers from the data. And I can use this here, which is to take the zeroth row from the list of dictionaries. That would be the first one. And just find out what all the keys are that are in that dictionary. And I can set the file names equal to that. So in this case, we don't need to pass into the field names into the function. We can just drop that out because it's going to get the field names from the data. Let's run that and look for another cartoon table in here. Let's see if we have it. Here it is. And it contains the same information. 